Surfing is more of like an art than a sport because it revolves a lot around your style. Kai is nailing every single one of those markers that I kind of look for in competitive surfers. He makes difficult things look easy, and to me that's something that you really tend to see in people that become professionals. Hi, my name is Kai. I just turned 13, and I love to surf. I put on my wetsuit here because how cold it is outside. It's like freezing. What motivates me to wake up early is that there's good waves and good conditions. I normally wake up around 6 and then I bike to the beach. It's a good way to start your day. Every morning I go surfing for two hours so I can maximum my time in the water and just get better. The wind isn't on it, meaning it's glassy and not choppy. Before I'm about to go into the water, I usually do a few stretches. Usually I first do squats and then a few lunges and then I loosen up my arms. Basically what they do is loosen up my body so that my muscles aren't really tight. So I'm able to get really low and do big turns. Once I'm in the water, it's such a good feeling. Usually when I go out there, I catch a wave and then I like, talk to myself like in my mind. I talk to myself about like what I did wrong and what I could focus on for my next one. I get to go to school late because I do this program called ISPE. ISPE is where I get to skip first period to do the sport I love. School actually has a surf team. Being on a surf team is really fun because we all get to surf with each other. Cool. We're heading to Futurility. It's where I do my surf workouts every week. Nine. Ten, two more. Eleven. Twelve. Boom. Good. And land. That one way down. There it is. I've been doing Neutrality since the beginning of the school year. I'm really glad I've been able to start this program. And we're able to hold that turn without extending and releasing any power. You want to hold that power. Body language was way on point. That was good. Carving is a really great tool to enhance the positions and maneuvers of surfing, but being able to rep it out where we don't have wave count holding us back. Out in the water, it's hard to get good waves. And here, we can rep out the same body positions so that they can get used to being in those positions and apply it out in the water so you can snap into those positions easier when they get out there. This is where you come up from that wave. You need to be able to relax your body, okay? We need you to get back down to homeostasis in case another hold down, or you're getting yourself back in shape to get another wave. I want you to breathe in through the stomach. Try to inhale your stomach with air like a big balloon, okay? Now the breathing exercises are a great tool, especially in surfing. You're, you're exercising while getting crushed by these massive mountains of water. So you're held under sometimes for honestly no more than 10 seconds, but it feels like minutes under there. Push out all the air, all of it, all of it. Fast, fast, breathe it all out. Hold, cradle rock. Well, my record is two minutes, but for that specific workout, I held my breath for 17 seconds. Fight past it, fight past it. I think the breathing was the toughest part because it really burned, and I thought I was going to die for a second, but I just had to hold through it. You got it. Keep going, keep going. Good. Put seven seconds on that. That's hard. The better we can get Kai into a position where he's not desperate for oxygen, he feels comfortable out there, his performance will improve because he is not gassed out. He's going to go. Wipe out. <laughs> I do shortboard because there's a lot more things you can do and you can surf a lot more waves. When I first got sponsored, I was super stoked. I just knew that it would open up a lot of new opportunities. San Diego provides me with all the things I need, basically clothing, fins, my leashes, my traction pads, and Blackbird provides me with my boards. I've been with Blackbird for three years now. It looks really good. The black rails with the carbon go straight oh, that into it. so sick. I like it. When I first started making boards for kids, I didn't really kind of have a reference point of like where to start and how far to go. And the more we did, the more I figured out dimensions and size ranges and the boards got better. And, and now I've got over a dozen kids under 16 riding the boards. And as Kai got more and more into surfing, got involved with making boards for him. I basically needed to get a new board because I was outgrowing my old board. Well, with my surfing improving, that means I'm hitting the sections in steeper spots, and that requires a board with more rocker. The sooner you can start a young surfer on a board that's made specifically for their height, their weight, and their level, the better you're setting them up to experience progression. It's a single to double concave, 
and then flat out of the tail with just a very, very small high point behind the tail, which allows for really quick rail-to-rail -rail transitions. When I ordered my board, I asked for a more knifey of a board and more rocker. He's a very demanding customer. <laughs> very, very demanding. Yeah, man, I'm stoked. Super stoked. Yeah, came out good. Can't wait to shred on it. My coach has been telling me to get my board higher up in the lip, so that means more of my board's like in the air. What is the one thing that I expect? Hustle. My name is Ricky Whitlock. I'm Kai's surf mentor. I don't like the term coach. Surfing is an art form. You have your own style. I've been a professional surfer for the last 16, 17 years. So now with the kids coming up from Carl's, but I like Kai. And I really just want to give that guidance to them and give them the direction of I know where they want to go and I just want to lay the path for them. Good hustle. Ah. You crushed it. You crushed it. The cool thing with Kai, he's got so much natural talent that there's not much to change. It's just, here's what you're good at, so let's keep improving that. We'll start fiddling out the weaknesses here and there. We're gonna work on a couple contest strategy and like wave knowledge, wave selection, and that's knowing which wave to go on, knowing when to be patient, when not to be patient. Right now, I think the biggest thing with Kai, it'll be getting him on better waves a lot more often. The handful of kids like Kai and the other kids that I work with, they're motivated. So it's cool to see kids that surf good, have good attitudes, and be persistent. They don't get down when they lose a contest. They're still at the next contest. Kai's a great kid. Him and his whole group of friends like to get amped up. They're wild and crazy, but it definitely shows in their training itself. They like to challenge each other. So it's a really great environment that they're these hardworking kids, but in such a fun vibe about all of them. They're just amped up and ready to go. Usually what's going through my head when I'm waiting out in the lineup is just catching a perfect riot and shredding it to pieces. Some waves that I want to surf are just heavy, gnarly barrels. Just drop in and the lip comes right over you. And just standing straight up and getting barreled the whole time. Such a good feeling. Some of my dreams are to surf Kelly Slater's web pool and to go to Indo one day. That's one of the best spots in the world. I just want to travel the world for surfing.